Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Past week we have known about Isaac. His father was on his bed near to death, and that time that uh, Jacob came to him and he blessed him, and he said to him to go to a place and find for yourself a wife from there. And Rachel also, Re Rebecca also said the same thing to Jacob to go there, just because Eshua was coming to kill him. And we have seen in somewhere place like Bethel, he slept in there. He created a rock for God in their place. He made a place for God that also we have seen. But today we are going to see that he went to the place actually and he found his life partner. And after that, he was also got cheated by his father that we have to see. That we have seen at last week that her mother sended her him to Laban, his brother house so that he can stay there sometime until his brother Yeshua's anger calm down and again he may come back so that he may live peaceably with his family. So before today's session let us pray. <laughs> Our Heavenly Father we have learned past week something Lord. Today also we are going to learn something. Lord help us to Teach the word to your people nicely so that they can understand it. Help us to read the scriptures, go through the scriptures and tell your people the things that are in the scriptures. Help us every day to understand your word and feed our soul with your holy Bible scriptures, my Father. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Jacob meets Rachel. So Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. And he looked and saw a well in the field. And behold, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks. A large stone was on the well's mouth. So he is coming now. Jacob is coming as his father told to search a wife for him. He is coming and going. Suddenly he sees a well there. And he looked and saw a well in the field, and behold, there was three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks, a large stone was on the well's mouth. So he's seeing, simply seeing the well. Now all the flocks would be gathered there, and they would roll the stone from the well's mouth, water the sheep, and put the stone back in its place on the well's mouth. To the purpose, they put the well there, so as to the sheep that will come thirsty after feeding the flock, they will come and drink the water and go again. For that reason, they put it a well there. And Jacob said to them, My brethren, where are you from? And Jacob is talking to the people, the shepherd who are staying there, he is talking to them. And Jacob said to them, My brethren, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. So Haran is the place which his mother Rebekah told him to go. Means that is the place in which his brother Bethel is living, Rebekah's brother. So we have seen here, he is on the correct place only. Then he said to them, Do you know Laban the son of Nahor? Now he is directly asking that, Do you know my brothers, my mother's <laughs> brother? <laughs> and Jacob said to them, My brethren, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. Then he said to them, Do you know Laban the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. They are also telling, We know him. We know the Laban your mother's brother. So he said to them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And look, his daughter Rachel is coming with the sheep. And he also asked, Is he well? So he is asking all about Laban and how he is, Is he well? And all that. Then suddenly Rachel came, means Laban's daughter. Then he said, Look, it is a still high day. It is not time for the cattle to be gathered together. Water the sheep and go and feed them. But they said, we cannot until all the flocks are gathered together. And they have rolled the stone from the well's mouth. Then we watered the sheep. Now while he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherd. Now Rachel, whom he is seeking as his life partner, as a wife, she is also a shepherd. Shepherders. We call shepherdress for girls and shepherd for male. And it came to pass when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. 
Then Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted his, up his voice and wept. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's relative and that he was Rebekah's son. So she ran and told her father. Then it came to pass when Laban heard the report about Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. So he told Laban all these things and Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him for a month. Now simply we can see that he is in the correct place only and he is searching for his wife and he suddenly finds his wife near the well and all that we have seen in this. Jacob marries Leha and Rachel. Now his marriage. <laughs> then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Now we can see that Jacob has lived here for a month. We can see that here. So he is continually living here only. Then Laban is asking. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? So simply Jacob is staying there and serving his mother's brother Laban there means as a servant so just because he is serving Laban is also asking you will simply serve me like that for many years without taking anything from me you take some wages so that it may be reasonable that you are serving me tell me what should your wages be he is asking what should your wages be now Laban had two daughters the name of the elder was Leah and the name of the younger was Rachel Leha's eyes were delicate, but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Now Jacob loved Rachel, and he said, I will serve you for seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. He is telling, you need not to give me any wages, you just give me your daughter, the second daughter, Rachel. I will work for you seven years, then you should give her to me. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to any other man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel and they seemed but a few days to him because of the love he had for her. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel and they seemed but a few days to him because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, give me my wife for my days are fulfilled that I may go into her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leha, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob, and he went into her. But we can see here before he promised that he will give his Rachel daughter. But here he is giving Leha daughter. So we know that Jacob is a cheater. He cheated before also in front of his brother. <laughs> he cheated there when his father was giving blessings. To Ishwa, he came by deceit and taken that blessings. But the same thing happening to him also here. This is a father-in-law or something. He is giving a false daughter to him. Means he wants Rachel, but he is giving Leha to him. So, so that he can marry, do marriage with that all things. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. Now it came to pass in the evening that he took Leha, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob and he went into her but actually he won't touch him, but he is giving Leah so the Jacob is getting cheated by Laban and Laban gave his maid Zilpha to his daughter Leah as a maid so it came to pass in the morning that behold it was Leah so at that time I think lights were not invented that's why he cannot see who the daughter was so he simply went in and he said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Now Jacob at morning he is telling to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rachel that I served you? Why then have you deceived me? He is telling why have you cheated me, same thing. He is also getting cheated just because he cheated before. Now what he planted, that same thing he is cutting now here also. And Laban said, It must not be done so in our country to give the younger before the first one. Is telling we should give the firstborn before only. But you are directly asking the younger, that's why I cannot give her to you. Fulfill her week and we will give you this one also for the service which you will serve with me still another seven years. Then Jacob said, did so and fulfilled her week. So he gave him his daughter, Rachel, as wife also.
so for laban he worked almost 14 years then only he got his life partner i think and laban gave his maid bila to his daughter rachel as a maid there zilpa he given here bila he given then jacob also went into rachel and he also loved rachel more than leah and he served with laban still another 7 years the children of jacob when the lord saw that leah was unloved he opened her womb but rachel was barren and we can see here rachel was barren barren means she cannot conceive a child but leah can conceive a child because she was unloved so leah conceived and bore a son and she called his name rebuen for she said the lord has surely looked on my affliction now therefore my husband will love me then she conceived again and bore a son and said because the lord has heard that i am unloved he has therefore given me this son also and she called his name simon simeon she conceived again and bore a son and said now this time my husband will become attached to me because i have borne him three sons therefore his name was called levi and she conceived again and bore a son and said now i will praise the lord therefore she stopped therefore she called his name juda then she stopped bearing so we can see here one son son demon second son levi third son again bore a son juda so four sons to leha but no sons to rachel you can see here one name is rebun one name is demon one leave is levi juda now only four sons are born but rabe rajin is still barren she cannot bear a son so this is the end of today's session hope we have learned something simply jacob followed what is mother father said and he came and searched a wife for him he simply got a wife he also got cheated by laban and after that they bear sons four sons that we have seen this is the end of today's session this is marriage and all this session especially <laughs> so we better end this session with a prayer <laughs> Our Heavenly Father, we have learned only one thing today, my Father, that when we do something bad to others, the same thing happens to us. It may be take some time to happen that thing, Lord, Lord, but it will happen at the appointed time when it's going to happen. Lord, please help us so that we cannot do any bad things to other people that it may not harm us in the future. Lord, help us in every day. so that we can properly keep our steps nicely in front of you my father and stand firm that we do not do any mistakes in front of you my father it may be a small cheating or anything my father but after that when we did this cheating we are going to perish with the same mistake which we have done to others lord lord here we can see in jacob's life he is also doing the same mistake and has perished lord you have given us such a wonderful bible that we can take their examples and put them in our lives so that we can live a peaceful life lord help us to live that peaceful life in the precious name of lord jesus christ i pray amen